Good afternoon everyone, Colton here from E39Source with my O1 540i6. Today I will be showing you how to replace the rear ball joints in your E39 5 Series sedan. Now, before we get started on this, um, what you will need is you will need a ball joint tool. Um, you can go ahead and rent one if you don't feel like buying one for a one-time job. You can rent one from a store such as Advanced Auto Parts or AutoZone. To get this job started, you can go ahead, put the car in the air, and get the wheels off. Here is the area we are going to be working in. You can go ahead, spray some PB Blaster on some of these bolts in here that we'll be removing. Go ahead, spray this bolt over here, this bolt right here, and this bolt right back here. The first step is to use 18 and 24 millimeter sockets. The 18 goes right on here, and the 24 goes on this bolt right over here. Go ahead, torque them in opposite directions, and pull that bolt out of the control arm underneath here. To get these bolts out, you can use some common sense. Now, this is what it should look like when you get them out. Here's the very long bolt that uh, is in here, and then here is the smaller upper bolt. The smaller upper bolt is located right in here. Now, once you have both of these bolts out, this large H bar right in here um, will shift up a little bit. Don't be scared. It shifts up about that much. Now what you can do is you can go ahead and grab this entire piece under here and remove from the vehicle. To get to this stage you are going to need to fight with this for a little while here. It could be anywhere between five minutes and a few hours. For me it's somewhere in between. Alright so now we are to this stage. Well what did I have to do to get here? I had to get a breaker bar and stick it in between the brake line and the bottom of the strut here. This takes a very long time to get right and a lot of thinking and a lot of um, a lot of general work. Once you use a breaker bar to get this down, you're going to need to clip it with a pair of vice grips. Make sure that this is resting on this right here and that you do have plenty of space left to get your ball joint out. It takes a lot of time to get this right and figure out exactly how all this stuff works. I also unbolted my roll bar that uh, has helped me a great deal in this. It took about 30% of the force off of this H arm here. And uh, now, I don't exactly trust this, but I'm going to try to get this ball joint out. As you can see, I already removed the rubber gasket here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and remove this ball joint now. Now to start this removal process, we have to remove the little clip around the outside here. Mine is very, very corroded. So go ahead, take a screwdriver and a hammer and go ahead and remove that little clip. To get it out, it is a very long process. You are going to need to use your ball joint press and you are going to need to get very creative with it. As you can see, I have all these different attachments here. I cannot help you with this. I can give you an idea, but I cannot tell you specifically what to do. This is what I ended up using to get mine out. What I did was, on the other side, this is on the passenger rear, I went ahead and I took um, this tube right here to hold the ball joint when it came out the other side, and uh, that was on this side of the clamp. Then, what I did on this side was I took this tube, which was small enough, the only tube that was actually small enough to fit in the hole in here where the ball joint came out of, because um, obviously when you press it, press it in to press it the whole way through, you have to have this piece going through the hole. So this piece went um, on this side right here, ball joint being right here. Then this was the little plate I used to press onto that. So this was the final setup right here, and then the ball joint was in here, just like that. So uh, there you go. There's an idea of what I did. Now I'm going to have to reinstall the new ball joint. And to do that is going to be a tough procedure as well. To install the new ball joint into the car, we are going to need to be equally creative. Here's the new ball joint ready to be installed. And what I'm going to do is take a different piece here. Um, this was the one that I used before over here. As you can see, I need to use a slightly larger one to do the other side because the lip on this side is slightly larger and this piece doesn't have to fit through the actual hole this time. What it has to do is it has to stay on this piece, this little lip right here, and push in this direction because we can't just put a ball joint out that way and put a new one in that way. It has to be the opposite way. So, let's go ahead and do the opposite of removing this and uh, I'll do my best. Once you do get your ball joint in 
to your vehicle. The next step is to install your sir clip. What you need to do is you need to take the clip and pry it around the outside and it should clip right in. And this is what it should look like with the sir clip fully installed. Now you can go ahead and remove your vice grips and be careful. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually cover this little boot here um, with one of the things, something like this. Um, actually I'm going to use this one right here. Cover this and uh, while I'm doing this leave that on there. So when I bring this up it can't rip this to shreds because god that's the last thing I want at this point. Could you picture that? You do all this work, and then that just gets ripped to shreds. You can now leverage this arm back down about an inch and insert your bolt. Last time you saw this car was about a week ago. It was in the garage, and the rear suspension was ripped apart. I have since put the ball joints back in. You saw some of that process, reinstalling them, and I have gotten the car aligned. Now, this is what it looks like now. It looks like how it always would have. And uh, I'm going to go ahead, go home, and uh, put this thing in the garage because I'm about to take out the springs. So with that said, I'll talk to all of you in my next E39 Tours video. Thanks again. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.